Welcome everybody to today's webinar. I know this is a highly requested webinar about the new nutrition updates that we've added. I did the previous webinar of the structured meal plans, so our version one that we released. And um, so for those of you who attended that, hopefully you recognize me. Um, but for those of you who don't know me, so quick introduction, I'm Sam and I'm a product specialist at Everfit. Uh, we do just a bit of background of how, how the webinar is gonna go today. So I'm gonna begin by introducing some of the features and also the use cases of how these features could be useful for your business or your, um, your coaching. And then we're gonna go onto the web platform where I'm gonna walk through how to use these new features. And then I'm actually gonna show you quickly how it can look on the client side. Um, so you don't have to go through and test it yourself on the client side. And then we'll finish off with a Q and A um, to complete it. So if you have your questions, uh, keep them together. We can definitely go through them at the end of this uh, presentation today. Amazing. So just to begin, um, this is how we are explaining the new nutrition updates in different use cases of the platform. Uh, so we have almost like a spectrum from structured meal plans all the way to you know, on-demand recipes that you can provide for your clients. With Everfit, we always think about how we can have a tiered approach and how you can build out that tiered approach. And that is what this setup is allowing you to do. So we have everything from you know, high ticket offerings, the structured meal plans that we would have went through on the last webinar. And this is where you can assign meal plans with very strict you know, days that you want them to eat and recipes that you want them to eat. On the flip side, we have the on demand. And this is where you can provide them with recipes, but the clients can have the power to work through them in their own time. And then we also have a flexible option as well, which will be somewhere in the middle of that spectrum. Having these different options will allow you to provide a lot of value to clients, but also going back to that first slide, if you saw where it said uh, the on-demand will be really good for fitness coaches, the structured will be really good for registered dietitians, this could also allow you to add more value, but also build in new offerings to your program as well. So you can, as a fitness coach, you'll be able to have you know, on-demand recipes to provide more value to your fitness clients. If you're a nutritionist, you can build in rent flexible meal plans as a new offering if you wanted to. Um, so there's, there's loads of opportunity uh, to monetize, but also provide extra value to clients. So just going into more detail on what these features are. So the flexible meal plans, this is where you can build a meal plan that provides your clients with options. So you can add up to seven, seven recipes for breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, that your clients will be able to choose from. This is the perfect approach for those clients that you want to follow a strict plan, but they can have flexibility to eat what they want. And so this will be a really nice option for them. The next option that we have is the on-demand recipe books. So this is more hands-off than the flexible meal plans and the structured meal plans. You would simply give them access to collections of recipes or recipe books and they can go in and they can complete those recipes. They can log them to their macros. They'll be able to build their own meal plans, build their own shopping lists. So although it's really, really simple to build out on your end, and it will take potentially 30 seconds to build out one of these recipe books, your clients will have a lot of features and a lot of um, different options to, to really use this feature and gain a lot of value. Cool. Um, so the reason we have five different ways to coach nutrition is the fact that you can mix and match these different tools. So you can combine structured meal plans and recipe books together. So if you have someone who's you know on a very structured plan, but potentially they may want a bit of flexibility every now and again, that's where the recipe books could be a really nice option to provide them with extras. You can also combine flexible meal plans and recipe books together too, um, almost allowing your client to build their own plan, and but also having the guidance from the flexible meal plan too. This is a new update, so it's not necessarily related to meal plans, but we have built out some new options. Um, so you can now auto calculate the macro ingredients. Um, so basically when you change you know, an ingredient or you change the serving size, we will be able to automatically calculate that because the macros now have, sorry, the ingredients now have macros attached to them um, so we've worked with some of the biggest databases in, in the world to create these and make sure that those um, macro, the macro data is very accurate too. 
Amazing. So we're going to move over to the website. Perfect. So to begin, just where you find the recipes and meal plans is in the library. So this is where you'll find most of the features that you can build out. Uh, with the recipes, so I'm just going to quickly show you where to find those and how you could potentially build them really quickly. Um, so you should have seen this in the previous webinar or even testing out uh, the recipes really um, when we were releasing that version one. But what you can now do is, is go in, you can create your recipes, you can name them, add a photo, and it will take you to this interface. And this is where you'll be able to add the ingredients, uh, add the instructions, you can add videos, preparation, cooking, and you can also add nutritional info as well to add any breakdowns uh, for your clients. The big difference that we've got now is the fact that you can auto calculate the, the uh, macros based on the ingredients. So when you're making changes, it just makes it really seamless um, to update those ma the macros of that meal. So with these recipes, uh, we have a database of recipes that you can use. Um, you can also add your own whenever you want. But with these recipes, you can now build on-demand recipe books. So there's two options when building a recipe book. There's an interactive book. This will be using Everfit's database, your own database of recipes that you've built within the Everfit system. We also have PDF books where if you wanted to add any PDFs that you potentially had in the resource collections or external, um, you can add them into this recipe book format as well. A quick example of one that I've built out and it is really, really easy to add those recipes in would be my salads collection here. So I've got a recipe book with loads of different types of salads, all using Everfit's um, different options of recipes built within our database. If you want to add a recipe, you can filter down based off the meal type. You can also filter down based off the calories and the dietary information as well. Perfect. So to assign those recipe books to a client, what you would have to do is go onto a client page you'll see the meal plan page on the right hand side. You can then go onto the recipe books and choose which recipe books that a client will get access to. So you can do that in two clicks and just adding those recipe books in. So moving on to flexible meal plans and the meal plan option. Um, so I've built out a day of flexible of, of a flexible meal plan right here. So you can go ahead and you can add up to seven different recipes by clicking onto this button. You will also have those filters. So if you're aiming for a specific macro goal for dinner, you can filter down based off the macros there and the calories. The dietary information, you can also filter here too. And you'll be able to simply choose the recipes that you want your clients to have access to that day. And as I mentioned before, you'll be able to add up to seven for breakfast, for lunch, for dinner, and for snacks as well. You'll be able to view the average calories of these meals. So you'll see this one, they're all around 350. Um, so the average will be calculated based off those. You'll also be able to see whether that's hitting your client's macros goals or not. Another feature that we have with the flexible meal plans is the ability to copy full weeks of recipes and paste that into another week as well. So I can go ahead, just paste that in. And then this Wednesday will then be moved to the week below. So if you wanna change between those different options, we have the setting here where you can switch between structured meal plans, the flexible meal plans, and the recipe books only too. So you have different choices that you can make. Amazing, so that is an overview of the coaching side. I'm just gonna move over to the client side now. Perfect, so hopefully you can see my client app here. So to begin, just what again, I just want to show you where they are. Um, so you'll be able to find those on the today page as a client. So I've assigned myself that flexible meal plan that you would have seen on the previous page on the web platform and also some recipe books too. So to begin, I just want to show you how those recipe books work. So if we go onto that salad recipe book, it takes you to this interface where you get a view of all of the different recipes. You can search for these recipes. You can also filter based off calories based off the dietary information that you want as a client. You can also go ahead and click into those recipes and straight away just go and begin and try one of them out. You can add them to your plan. So if you click onto the add button, you'll see that they're added to the meal planner. 
And if you want to view the meal planner, there's a button in the top right hand corner, like a calendar that will take you to that meal planner. You'll see that there's two buttons. There's unscheduled and schedule at the top there. If I wanted to schedule in some recipes, I can click on to schedule. And then I would have to, then I'll have all of these options of the recipes that I've added. So I see breakfast, I can see the lunch, snacks, and also the ones that are added by me from the recipe books. Doing that, you'll see that the recipes are shaking. And so as a client, you'll be able to pick up a recipe and then just move that to a different day. And you can add the tag of breakfast, lunch, dinner, or snack. Cool. So there's loads of flexibility for the client to go into those on-demand recipe books. They can build their own plans out. So this can be one of the options that you have for your clients. If you want to offer them that flexibility, clients can also build their own shopping lists. So I've got an example of one that's already built out, but you can create new shopping lists too. You do have to add recipes to be able to build this shopping list. So if I wanted to do that, I could go onto the four dots in the bottom right hand corner and I can add the current week to a shopping list, and then I can add that straight away. So let's add it to that 30th of October. If I go back to the shopping list now, you'll see it's got all of those items, and you can do it by ingredients, or you can do it by recipe too. Perfect, so that is a good overview of the recipe books and how they work. The meal plans, so I've got a flexible meal plan set up here, so I can click onto it. I have already built out my schedule, um, so that's why I only have one of those options. If I wanted to edit it, I can go ahead, I can remove stuff. I can also go back to the schedule where you saw in the coach, where you'll see in the coaching page. I can click onto my meal options, and this is where I will be able to view all of the flexible meal plan options that I've added for breakfast, for lunch, and for dinner. Very similar, you'll be able to build out your schedule uh, as a client by clicking onto that calendar in the top right, top right, uh, the bottom right hand corner, and you can decide what you're eating and schedule that in for those specific days. Amazing, so that is a really good overview of the new meal plan feature. And then just before we go, um, so some of the new nutrition updates we are adding more and more power to this feature. And like this, we've just released the version two, but there's still gonna be some more stuff coming. Um, so we're actually building out the ability to import recipes by PDF, URL, or a block of text. Um, so using the URL, PDF, or block of text, we'll be able to generate the recipe in the Everfit format. So right now, recipe building might take a few minutes. We're bringing that down to uh, seconds, uh, which is, is a really, really exciting feature, especially those who are just starting off to use that feature um, because they'll be able to get um, all of their recipes imported in nice and easy. The other features that are coming, so we have recipes as ingredients. Um, so this is a big one that was requested. So we're listening to all of our coaches and those requests. Um, so having just an individual, individual ingredient that you can add to your structured meal plan or to your macros goals, that will be another thing that is coming soon. And then we're also looking into adding meal plans to onboarding flows. So some of those I did mention during the Q&A se session, but these are for really huge updates, really focused around automation, saving time, making things really streamlined, and that will be coming soon to this feature. Amazing. Perfect. So I think that everything has been uh, covered today. If you do have any other questions, feel free to reach out to us. Again, I hope that was helpful and you see the sort of vision of where we're going with this feature it is, it's a really exciting space to enter into and we're just gonna keep building and making this even more powerful.